Hey, don't morning. let this segment mess our man. Take an exciting tour through Hollywood's back streets where scandals are always lurking beneath the surface and secrets rule supreme. We're going to explore a story today that explores the surprising and dramatic ways that celebrities' lives are intertwined. Hi there and welcome back to Relax Brew. We start with none other than Diddy, the music mogul who is well known for his impact, his tunes that have reached the top of the charts, and his unexpected relationship to Marjorie Harvey, the well-known comedian and television show's wife. During the turbulent 1990s, Marjorie was facing possible legal trouble because of accusations of drug usage. In a plot twist straight out of a Hollywood movie, Diddy turned out to be her unlikely hero. This article unveils a complicated web of emotional and legal crises that goes beyond the usual celebrity gossip fair. It would seem that Marjorie was prepared to make major personal sacrifices in order to get out of her situation. As we learn more about this tale, we learn that Marjorie gave Diddy a very particular thank you after an extensive inquiry showed that he was instrumental in her successful escape. This discovery alone would unsettle any husband, and Steve Harvey is no exception. This finding has far-reaching consequences and may have emotional and psychological effects on Harvey. But this is not where the story ends. Hold on. Rumours have said that, until recently, Diddy and Marjorie might have continued their covert alliance. With every new discovery, our tour through the complicated web of celebrity relationships and covert transactions becomes increasingly complex. It seems that secrets are highly valued in Hollywood and scandal is always present. As we delve further into Marjorie Harvey's complex past, get ready. Before the glitz of the red carpet and her well-publicized union with Steve Harvey, Marjorie had a dangerous and dramatic life. Many tumultuous romances and run-ins with the law characterized her early years, especially while she was married to Jim Townsend in the 1990s. Renowned for his involvement in the drug trade, Townsend oversaw a smuggling operation that transported illicit drugs from Houston to Memphis. Not only was their marriage in jeopardy, but so was the welfare of their two adopted children, Morgan and Jason, as well as Steve's own. Marjorie was deeply involved with Townsend. Throughout their marriage, she was the subject of an investigation over her possible involvement in his illegal actions. Even after Townsend was given a life sentence for his offences, Marjorie continued to have her doubts. She became engaged to Donald Woods, a problematic person who was allegedly a distant relative of Townsend and connected to the drug trade when her turbulent marriage to Townsend ended. Even with all of the accusations and connections, Marjorie somehow made her way through these dangerous waters, turning from a possible criminal to a witness and avoiding prosecution. She is now walking the glitzy streets of Hollywood with her spouse, having converted into a socialite and philanthropist. You can remove the girl from the drama, but you cannot remove the drama from the girl, as the saying goes. The persistent whispers about her purported associations with the underworld linger and cast a pall on her current existence. The story is further complicated by recent insider disclosures that imply Diddy, Marjorie's reclusive guardian angel, may have intervened to save Marjorie from facing legal repercussions rather than being pure serendipity. This development takes us to the crux of the current viral rumours, which suggest, without hard proof, that Diddy might have asked Marjorie for something very personal in return for her help. Their intimate relationship in the past and the current finding of continuous communication between them, found during an examination of Diddy's property, have stoked rumours about them. Let's go back to 1991 to add more context to our story. It was a big year for Diddy's ascent in the music business, as well as a turning point in Marjorie's legal drama. In addition to building his musical empire at this time, Diddy was also negotiating the dangerous seas of the rivalry between West Coast and East Coast rap artists. Diddy has consistently denied being a gangster, despite being portrayed in the media as one, highlighting how different his real personality is from the criminal reputation that is frequently portrayed. Keep checking back as we investigate this intricate network of stories in more detail. Much about the nature of celebrity, where secrets are valuable and everyone in the public eye has something to hide, can be learned from the narrative of Marjorie Harvey's history and her complex relationships with people like Diddy.
Join us as we explore these uncharted territories and learn more about the stars you previously believed to be known. One particularly contentious claim dates back to 1991 when Diddy was charged with beating and intoxicating a woman. This claim was made in a lawsuit by Joey Dickerson, which Diddy adamantly rejects. A fatal incident occurred at a charity basketball game that Diddy and the Harlem community staged, adding to the turmoil of that year. Oversold, the event descended into pandemonium as a crowd surge resulted in nine fatalities and multiple injuries. Diddy's contentious background was further exacerbated when Neil accused him of sexual assault after they went to dinner in Harlem. These claims add to the unsettling picture of Diddy's behavior amid a difficult time in his career. This era draws parallels with past worldwide disasters and emphasizes the vital need for safety in public meetings, reflecting the possible risks of poor crowd control and event organization. A complex image of Diddy, a man whose life has been mired in controversy and scandal, emerges when more information about his past actions becomes available. His relationships with people like Marjorie Harvey further enhance his already complex personal background. There are still unanswered questions regarding whether Diddy and Marjorie have overcome their previous struggles or if they are still entangled in a web of lies and deceit. The story doesn't end here, as new information has brought Diddy back into the public eye. There were raids by the Department of Homeland Security on two of Diddy's homes, one in Miami and one in Los Angeles. Another raid by the Department of Homeland Security was conducted at a home by Field Hills property that was purportedly connected to Sean. The Southern District of New York, a jurisdiction renowned for its tenacious pursuit of prominent figures, is carrying out these actions as part of a bigger inquiry. Based on a complaint filed by Kessie accusing Diddy of sexual assault, our investigation has uncovered potentially serious claims against Diddy, including suspicions of complicity in sex trafficking. These claims have ramifications that go beyond personal wrongdoing. They raise the possibility of prosecuting racketeering, which is a severe crime under the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, RACO. If these accusations are validated, they may result in the complete dismantling of a larger criminal organization, affecting a number of well-known people and upending the foundations of the entertainment sector. Rumor has it that Prince Harry was once involved in a social gathering that has some indirect connection to the case. This demonstrates the breadth of Diddy's network and the possible consequences of the inquiry. The current legal turmoil might have far-reaching consequences that ruin lives and livelihoods, much like an exploding grenade. In summary, Diddy's life narrative is marked by noteworthy achievements mixed with times of severe scrutiny and legal difficulties. His story serves as a warning on how past deeds might come back to haunt one, changing their legacy. It's becoming clear that there are many unforeseen turns in the road, leading to a complete comprehension of Diddy's influence as we learn more about his past and present. Diddy has frequently discussed the severe risks and difficulties he faced in the early years of his career, emphasizing the tremendous competition among rappers in Los Angeles and New York. A person's personal and professional life might be greatly impacted by their associations with particular groups and persons. Therefore, this period was full of substantial obstacles. Diddy's own interactions and deeds during this period have been closely examined. Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.